Hello, what I'm going to do today is continue on with my demonstration of some of the common transformations used within SQL Server integration services, the transformations that are sort of commonly used to pull together, um, extract, transform, load packages. So um, I've talked about a number of different transformations already, merge joins, merge transformations, conditional splits, um, union alls, um, then connection managers uh, into and out of the um, the package as well um, and so what I'll do um, and also I've talked about derived columns as well so what I'll do now is talk about a um, another um, transformation called a multicast and it's sort of the opposite of a um, of a union all I guess and it sort of looks that way when you look at the little icon next to it too so I will demonstrate that with a new new package and I'll call this um, multicast so let's rename the package there we go so what we need to do is pull in a data flow task uh, as I've explain for data flow task is essentially the envelope which the package is included within in a very simple sense anyway so we just double click on it to open it up and then what we're going to do is connect to a flat file source we're just going to connect to an Excel file there it is we'll create a connection manager new connection manager to a, um, to a flat file add it in we're going to call this, um, I think we'll, we'll pull in one of the segment files, segment file, and then see if I can find it. Um, okay. Okay, let's just, yeah, let's pull in just the monthly spend data. Um, call this. Monthly spend. Say the the columns uh, column names in the first row, and the these are the columns. So we've got customer ID. We've got the monthly spend. We've got bill month information, and from memory we've got uh, about sixty yeah sixty three sixty seven rows of data. So three rows for each of 23 customer IDs, but you don't really need to know that. So here we go. So we've um, got a created a connection manager that uh, basically connects to the data source, but we need to connect this uh, flat file source to the connection manager. So we double click on it. By double clicking on it, it's actually automatically connected it to it, which is uh, um, nice. There we go. That all looks fine. Click OK. So this is, again, like I said, uh, three spend. Um, and what we'll do is we will basically use this um, multi-cut, so excuse me, multi-cast um, transformation to split, to make duplicates of the data source. So what we'll do is um, it'll go into this multicast and then it'll we'll split it say two ways. So we will go um, we pull in a derived column. Perhaps yeah, derived column. So we'll data viewers, we'll add that in, um, then we'll do the same thing, derive column, connect that to that one, we'll also add a data viewer in, add one, and this is called multicast output 2, the other one will be multicast output one 
and that's fine. We'll, and we'll do the same thing again, and we can create multiple copies of that monthly spend file. And we, um, the reason we want to do this is perhaps we want to perform some sort of different transformations on these uh, on these data sources, or we want to split them up and perhaps send a file to different locations. We might want to fire a copy of the file to a perhaps different subsidiaries or through to different locations on different different servers. So and then I'll just add another data viewer on here. So this is the third one. And then what I'll do is I'll just set the package running. These data viewers will pop up with what and, dem and um, show what data is going to each one of those um, um, each one of the, the various um, sort of destinations there that I've got, those three different ones. And in theory they should all be identical. Okay, so here we go. Let's look at multicast output data viewer 1. So we've got 69 rows of data. ID 1 got three of them, 10, 24, 11, so that's cool. This um, second one here, multicast output 3, so we've got ID 1, 10, 24, 11, yep, that's identical. And then the same thing with the last one. So that has successfully split um, the copy the data set and sent it off in three different directions. So that can, like I say, can be pretty handy functionality. Um, and that wraps up the session. If there's, um, uh, feel free to go and have a look at any, the other demonstrations that I've got on YouTube as well.